Hey, John David. I'm sure I'm hey. Um, I want to actually piggyback off of Kay's question, um, the second question regarding legacy. Um, I was watching some of the interviews from the um, press run for Tenet, and I found it interesting that Nolan, who typically doesn't write films with actors in mind, um, really had you stuck in his mind after watching Black Klansman as a premiere. And so I wanted to ask you about, as we talk more, we see the Oscar rules that have just come out, we talk about diversity and the importance of Black leads on screen. I wanted to talk about your impact because you people have been saying like this is our first black bond that we've had in Tenet and I wanted to for you to talk more about the importance of diversity and how having black leads in leads to films and your roles as a protagonist in Tenet. Well um well thank you for your question um I think it's you know speaking on to what I was saying before just how important it is to see people that look like us on on the screen on the big screen in IMAX if you will um you know again there's so much hope in injected energy of positivity and, and wonder and, and possibility in, in films like that and with people that look like us in films like this. That being said, um, I think it's more important, and if that can, you know, everybody should play their part, but it's more important to get, you know, more people that look like us, you know, as journalists, as people maybe green lighting these films, that, are, that that's a studio head that can run a studio that can, that could be uh, in, in these eight, you know, that be the lead or partners in, in the uh, big agencies, you know, in the William Morris endeavors of the world, CIAs of the world. I think the behind the camera, behind the screen people that are represented are just as important as the ones in front, you know, because, you know, ultimately we can be actors for hire, we can be replaced, but sometimes you can get real work done um, in getting our stories out there in those administrative rooms, in those, in those meetings, in those people that, uh, in those meetings with people that decide what's going to get greenlit, they decide to put the money into certain projects. You know, I think uh, Christopher Nolan, a shout out to him, I think he's ahead of the game. How he casted this film, I think is, is it's pretty special. You know, for a film like, for a film like this, you look, you think about a, a, a Dimple Kapadia who plays Priya in the film, you don't see a character that's supposed to be a man and a certain kind of man as a character like that. And it's not, it's a, it's a, it's a Bollywood star who came out of retirement for Christopher Nolan. You know, I, I think that, um, I just think, you know, just little, and, and, and it's subtle. It's not like it's pronounced. It's like he didn't roll it out. Like here's another person of color. You know, it, this wasn't even a rollout of here's a black man of color, uh, a black man, uh, the lead of his film. But he didn't even write that in the script. It wasn't 30 year old black male. That was never written in the script. You know, it's obvious, but uh, it's more about the impact and how the world surrounding, what orbits this man reacts to and how they react to this person and, and so on with, you know, how our society and how our industry will react to it, you know. And um, it's important as the storyteller to just stay focused on what we're trying to say and for, you know, people like y'all to, to, to continue that narrative and talk about the importance of it. I think that's the working relationship of journalists and artists or journalists and and creator um, to have. That's the, 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 that simpatico is important, especially in our community. Thank you.